you found that really have worked well for um, for brands that are, are trying to get to know you, that would like you to start covering them? Um, was it press releases? Was it reaching out and saying, hey, let's have lunch? Uh, what, what tips would you give to people, especially people who are just trying to get into you know, new markets? Um, I, I will say one thing that's really ultra, ultra important is have your assets ready at any time. If you have a portfolio of 12 different products, you should have uh, high resolution and low resolution photography of everything. Um, if you can, get beauty shots as well as silo silhouetted bottle shots. A, a company that has some kind of somewhat personalized pitch that has their act together and seems to know what our publication is about and knows why they are where they are in the category that we are supposed to put them in and talk about. If they can tell me that and show me that they also have art and they have uh, people that we can talk to and um, that they know what's going on, not just with their product, but with the genre that they're in, that's how they get my attention. And also, going back to what David said in the beginning, knowing what the public is. You've got to do that. You've got to have the assets, as you said. That's very important. And just write a professional press release. I mean, my God, I, I get a lot. Right, Melanie? Sometimes I see stuff that oh, and you, give, you and, know. And give us the retail price. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, the retail price is along with the assets. Sometimes I want, to, I want to go to the owners of the PR firms and say, please, train them for five, more than five seconds before we let them hit the send button on the email. And that would help sometimes with uh, whether I want to read the email and the press release or not. I, I, I think from my end, I, I like to see what kind of added value in topic you can bring to it rather than I'm a, I'm a winery, I'm entering the US market, or I'm a winery that's got a 700 year winemaking tradition and w let's talk about that. What, what, what's not necessarily new with you, but but what's your approach, um, and what can you bring to the table that's going to make it more interesting for me to write about and my readers to read? And I just want to quickly say, I did a I did a big article on St. Francis last year, and it was for my magazine. It was it was a very long article, word wise, and uh, we broke it up into an article talking to the winemaker and the owner, uh, and then I also interviewed three people in the business, in the restaurant business, that carried St. Francis wines and really were behind it. And they each, each of the three sub articles that I wrote, sidebars, had a different focus to them. And I was able to, I was able to zero in on why they like St. Francis, what made it tick for them, and, and how they got behind the brand. And they each came at it from a different angle, whether it was kegs, uh, one restaurant really loved the fact that they could get St. Francis in kegs because they had a big keg program, which is pretty hot right now. Um, and then another one was the, the family history that they had personally, the restaurant owner and the St. Francis guys. They'd always had it on their list. It was just a staple. They never wanted to get away from that. Uh, and so it kind of went on like that. But what kind of added value in a story can you bring to the story when you're pitching? And at times, you can even work with the magazines on that if you're working with them that way. It's not just a publicist or, or, or somebody sending a press release out saying write about it, but if you can work with the magazine editorially to really come up with a good focus, uh, that makes all the difference in the world. For me, because we have a lot of readers um, in places like Russia and China in the wine industry, and they want to know how the world works. So if a, a brand comes to me and they can they can present themselves as being part of an important trend or as a trend leader. I know that will be very interesting. I'm working with one company at the moment and they've done an absolutely groundbreaking brand. And so I'm going to go and look at their advertising agency and how they put that brand together. Um, and that kind of business angle will always attract my attention.